Okay, friends, we are live. Oops. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera here. I need a better camera holder. Okay, so I need to get my tutorial for my sweater because the arms you know what I'm gonna connect this using Okay, so I am going to connect the shoulders and I'm gonna do that using this blue. So then once I get this connected, oh no, I need to do and then I will oh my gosh what happened to connect this together. Oh my gosh, why is this so cryptic for me? Let's see how this works. I'm watching the tutorial now. Oh, but she continued from here.
And we just started on the second stitch, the second cluster. Now I need to do, I need to do this side and then go back up the other side. Okay, now I got it. Now I got it. So go down one side and then up the other and then when we go up the other side then we'll connect it. Goodness gracious. Why? Why is it so challenging? All right. I even made one of these already, so what is the big challenge? Okay, let me... See if we can get some music. Copyright free music stream. See how that works. And then when I am done doing the connection of the sleeves, I can do the extensions on the arms. And when I do the extension, that is just to give it more length without having more volume on the actual sleeve.
Okay, so now here we connect the sleeve at the top here. And then go back down the other side. Wait a minute, that's not right. Okay. Hey, how's it going? This is going to be a hexagon cardigan um, sweater, but for some reason I'm stuck right now in joining the uh, sleeves. Um, so I'm kind of watching the tutorial right now and I think I'm gonna just wing it right here and see but I think this is not correct so I'm just gonna do it and probably need to pull this out right now no that might be right okay let's see oh yeah that's good. That's right. Yeah. Cool. I made another one that I just actually, I have it in the other room. I um, just did a rinse and spin in the washing machine because um, I wanted to get the stitches more symmetrical because it kind of got out of whack while I was working on it. And that helped a lot instead of blocking the project. Um, so then that way it can be nice and even. So what I'm going to do with this one is join the sleeves. And then, I, oops, and then I am going to do the uh, rounds on the edge to lengthen the sleeves. This one will be sized more for maybe a young adult or a child. I'm not sure <clears throat> exactly how to say like what the size is going to be. I have to figure that out. Somebody recommended to look up on Google like for size charts and stuff and that works but it seems like what the size thing is saying, like if you're gonna buy a specific brand, then it'll tell you this is the size for, you know, um, that brand. Like this is a 4T, 5T or whatever, you know? So, oh, you know what I should do is look at like sewing patterns because then it will give like the length of the arm So when I get this joined together, then I will do the rounds on the end of the sleeve and connect the back. The back, I don't know why, my other one that I did, I was like going nuts with trying to connect the back and it shouldn't be that difficult. I think I was just not doing it right or something.
And then I have this really cool book that I wanted to use. I borrowed it from the library and it has some cool retro patterns. Oh, so it blocked that fingering yarn again. Too funny. Remember it did that to you before? You must have a reputation out there. Like, ooh, we gotta block this comment. <laughs> you should just test it each time just to see. I should allow that. As soon as I allow it, then some troll is gonna come in here with some inappropriate remarks or something. So I think for the back, because I constantly am thinking, right? I think for the back, I'm going to do a few rows on each side. So that way it gives it a little bit of more, um, uh, what do you call it? Not bagginess, but a little bit of a looser fit. and then join the two sides together. So let me show you what I finished today. I, I went to Joanne to get specific buttons because I didn't wanna just have any old buttons. So I made this little child's cardigan. I'm calling it a child because I think it's gonna be a somewhere between a six and a 10. So six, eight, uh, eight, 10, something like that. But I wanted to get particular buttons. So the way that it's buttoning is just through the stitches. So I just sewed the buttons right on there, but it's, it's such a particular yarn. I didn't want to just have any old random buttons. So I took it to the store with me and um, shopped for the buttons. So these are just little metal buttons. And then it just opens like that. And this uh, lighter uh, yarn is a cloud. I wish I had it here, right here. It's the Karen Cloud yarn. And then this is a uh, wool blend yarn. So then this will give it a little bit more sturdiness around the buttonholes. So I finished that today. I finished sewing in the ends on a bunch of projects, including this one. And then the next project after I do these, uh, work on these arms a little bit, I'm going to use some of the new yarn that I just bought and work on some um, crocheted sleeves for vests, denim vests. So we'll see. What are you working on today? Oh, you just said you're working on your cardigan. Here, we finally have nice weather today. Finally sunny out. So I, I went out and did a bunch of errands. And I um, took my son to work, went and had lunch with my daughter. And um, she's at work right now. So then just came home and I say, let's just stream. So I'm going to be probably switching between the different platforms just to get a footprint out there, you know? All right. Okay, now I got this figured out because when I started the other side, I couldn't figure how am I going to join this together. All right, so there's that. As always, right? Well, I um, had my last day at my bill paying job yesterday, so I got laid off. So one of my errands was to go ship back the laptop. So I shipped back the laptop and they said, just keep everything else. So I got, they had sent me a large monitor. So I had the large monitor, the um, wireless keyboard and the wireless um, mouse. So I kept those. Okay, there's that and then I can do my sleeves. I think what I'm gonna do actually is sew in some of these ends. 
That way when I'm all done, I don't have as much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I'm trying to get my website a little bit more traffic, searching for a job, working on just a bunch of other little small projects. Oh my God, I just scared the crap out of myself. I forgot my dog is at my feet. It's like, what the hell? What just moved? It's my dog. Um, yeah, she's like, has to be in my shoes practically. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for a job. I'm working on uh, my blog for my travel profile, working on making content for that. Uh, so I might be streaming some live under that profile on another platform and just kind of putting all the irons in the fire, you know, just to see what pans out and then searching for a job in the meantime. So just what I say is putting all the irons in the fire. So I've got the ball rolling on a bunch of different stuff. And if I can get a little bit of income from a lot of different things, awesome. If not, that's why I'm looking for a job. So I'm trying to really work at that. You know, sometimes people think, oh, I'm going to work for myself and then I never have to answer to anybody. But it isn't really like that because you have to answer to yourself, you know, for paying your bills or whatever. So let's get this end sewed in. And then I can trim off at least this one piece of yarn. So one of the other projects I'm going to be working on is um, denim vest with crocheted sleeves. So I was at Joann's today getting some yarn, not because I needed it, but because I wanted it. They were having a sale, like they're always having a sale. So I grabbed some of the buy three, get one free of the, um, I think it's Lion brand but they, they had a sale on everything. And so I'm going to be using some of that for the denim vest, the sleeves. We'll see how that goes. So mostly what I'm doing is just trying to, I have a bunch of projects in mind. So take the time to do those projects that I already had in mind that I wanted to do. And then um, make it happen, you know? Because whatever I make, I can list in my shop because I do have a shop online. So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully at some point the right uh, buyer will come along. Let's see if we can get this. So there's no way that any of these will unravel, but I think sometimes you just want to have all the ends in so that people don't think it's falling apart. And some of the, some of the ends I crochet in while I'm doing the project. Hey, you're watching your ad. <laughs> That's awesome. Was it for something good or something wacky? Like I never even pay attention to the ads on other people's channels, but, um, when I'm on YouTube, I try to at least just let them play through because I've heard people can make, Oh, a creepy movie. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but I heard that people can make movie or er, movie make money off of you just watching the ad on YouTube. So I'll let it go through, but, um, I never pay attention really what the ad is for. Okay. Let's see how we can do this. I'm trying to be better about these ends and kind of at least have them where they're long enough to get into the needle and weave through, but sometimes it's just not working. You guys, have you seen Cocaine Bear? Because it is freaking hysterical. 
it's like has jump scares in it and it's supposed to be scary I think but it is funny it is so funny not yet it is so funny I was watching it on discord the other day with um Brett do you follow Hus Husky Boyo and Old Grumpy Mama they've had it playing on discord like three or four times but then we also watched it at home here it is so funny oh you don't think you do um yeah so if you follow old grumpy mama for sure you'll you'll get the info when she has the um discord movie night which she does it all the time sometimes it's old movies like super old that you wouldn't even be interested in but it is kind of funny like you know just hanging out with people and making comments on movies and stuff um a husky boyo is good uh he is an artist and he is an amazing drawer so he draws on um twitch and always promotes everybody that comes in I like to hang out and watch his process. Sometimes when I'm working on other things, because, you know, when you're running your, your business, you don't really have time to be sitting around kind of doing nothing. Um, so if I'm working on my blog in the background or something, then I will put him on and listen and watch and write. Um, but he does do promotion and you know, lets you put your links and stuff. So I like to follow him. And then that's how I came in contact with old, grump old grumpy mama. Anyways, tangent on the discord movie watching deal. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm going to sew that in too. So I have this book here too. I borrowed this book from the library. Let me show you. I was feeling like I might go to the library today. And I saw this. Um, oh, it's not on the cover. Well, this one I love. I love this one, but I really love this one. But then even in the book, there's a, it's called an asphalt hooded crop top. How cute is that? I think it has a better picture over here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I like that stitch too. I know that would be quick. And it looks like it's a little bit chunkier yarn, but I think you could use whichever um, type of yarn you like. Let's see. What does it say? Red Heart Super Saver. Neon Stripe. Two skeins. So it uses a bit of yarn, but so cute. And then this one I love. So what I like about these two, especially this one and this one, they look like kind of middle school age, fun, wear it over another top, tank top, or like a little sports bra or something. And I believe I can borrow the book for a month, but I don't need to have it for a month. But here it is. The Neon Dream Crochet, 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 crochet Cardigan. And again, that is also um, Super Saver. And she used the color Black Light. And the Black Light has a little bit of black and a lot of the neon color. So those are really cool. But I'm going to make something from this book. And then um, I finished this child's sweater, which honestly, I think it's just going to be listed in my shop. I have to think of a price point, but I got the buttons on there today. And I just was curious to make this pattern. So I want to make it again, but in a shorter version. But we'll see. We shall see. And then I'm going to work on the, after I sew these ends in and get the other arm connected, I'm going to work on the crochet vest. You know what? I don't know how big, like what size it is, but it is, let's see. I can measure it. I think it's like 12 wide, 
13 wide, something like that. So it's about 15, 16 wide, and it is sleeveless. So it's kind of good like for Southern California. This is wool and this is acrylic, but this is like super fuzzy, it's so nice. And then the length is about 18 down to the hem. So 18 down to the hem. And then it just has these two buttons on the front and they just unbutton in the stitches. So like the big holes right here, which is kind of child friendly. I mean, you have little ones, you know that it's kind of a challenge for them to get their stuff unbuttoned if the button's too tight. And then it's just open at the bottom. But I need to, I, but I sewed in all the ends, so I actually finished it. Oh, okay. So, and what is her clothing size? What do they call that? Like a 810? I put my tablet here somewhere and promptly covered it up. What the heck? I'm telling you. Oh, 12. Okay, cool. I'm going to write that down. My God, where is... I scared the crap out of myself. My dog is here. And I forgot she's here. Like, literally at my feet. My toes are in her fur right now. And I felt her move, and I was like, oh, crap, what is that? So I went to Joanne and got some... Um, oh, this is all my stuff I need to do because I uh, am unemployed, so that's my plan for Monday. Okay, size 12. Size 12 equals 14 inches across. Okay. So my next challenge is on the cardigan, like what length to make the sleeves, but I don't think I'm going to actually work on the extensions. I'm just going to connect the shoulders and work on the extensions another time. Ooh, I did the buy three, get one free of the yarn. And I found a super, super bright pink. Remember I was asking you about your bright pink? I found it. Um... I have it tied up in one of the bags, but it was the Big Twist brand. You're going to have fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, this is a long tail right here. So I'm going to work on the denim vest sleeves. I bought some yarn specifically for that because I do have, I think, three dark green vests that I want to make the sleeves for. So I'm going to start that. And then um, the way I do it is I start the top part, like where it's going to attach to the shoulder, and I will sew that on to the vest. That way I don't have to make holes in the denim. And then I will crochet down from there. The other project I made uh, doing the same process, I made the uh, sleeve from the cuff up and then attached it onto the part that was sewn onto the vest. But this time I'm going to sew onto the vest and then just work uh, down all the way to the cuff. Okay, so here's the sleeve. Might even leave it open, I don't know, but let me do the other sleeve, close up the other sleeve, and make sure that I do them both. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter because if you connect it wrong, then you just switch it over because it's the same uh, style, you know? Okay. Let's 
to right here. My gosh, my chickens are over there going nuts. I don't know what they're doing. I couldn't get the 60% off coupon to work, but I got everything on sale except the buttons and the buttons I had a 40% off coupon and then a coupon of 70, not 75 off, 15 off if you spend more than 75. So I got plenty of disc, what am I doing? I'm putting a freaking needle on there. I need the needle, I need the hook. Okay, so I'll leave a bit of a tail, that way I have plenty to um, sew in the ends. Hydrate. Hydrate. <clears throat> Okay, somehow I always manage to get myself confused on this part. I hear my chickens out there going nuts. I don't know what they think they're doing. Okay, here we go. There we go. So we're just logging a few hours here on Twitch. I think I'll probably be switching between platforms um, just so we can get the footprint out there, you know? Oh, no, this I need to go all the way down, do the whole side, and then come back up. what my dog is trying to do like turn into a ball of yarn and get crocheted into my work I don't know she's underneath my feet the heck is this cord let me see what this cord is don't get yourself in the cord mommy what is oh that's the Turn the music up a little bit. Oh my god, what is she doing? Get out of the cord. Oh. What are you doing? You're in the cord, cuckoo. Get your leg out. Come on. Okay, there we go. My God. Oh my goodness. Silly dog. It's all about her comfort. It doesn't matter if I'm ergonomic or not, as long as she's comfortable. I'll just lean over in the chair and get a crooked back. It's fine. It's fine. It's actually fine. I might have to pull her out and readjust. This is ridiculous. Okay. Here we go.
Thank goodness. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am working on, oh yeah, uh, the ones that were in there this morning, apparently they're people that he knows from um, when he would stream and game. I don't know, they were making it sound like he had some sort of wild night in talking about him sleeping in two different beds or whatever, which that's fine. Um, but what it ended up being was a small business owners, um, networking event or something. And, um, yeah, old gamer buddies. And so they were also, uh, part of that. I don't know if they are now also small business owners. And I think it was kind of in the restaurant industry networking and stuff. But he said, oh, oh, actually, so here's what's funny. He said he worked really late. He worked till 5 a.m. So I think he was saying that he was working, meaning at this networking event. And they were VIPs, front of the line, um, at the event. So, I mean, I thought that was really cool. But they weren't really acting like... I don't know. They weren't acting like they were helping him network. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I even asked at the beginning, I was like, are you okay? Like, I didn't know if they needed to be like paused or if they were actually his friends. And then he explained, yeah, they were his friends. Okay, so let's connect the shoulder or the sleeve will eventually become the shoulder. Yeah, interesting. Exactly. That is what I would say. Because I didn't want to pause them or block them or... Um, Put them on a timeout or whatever the different options are. If they were actually his friends. Because they kind of spoke like they were familiar, but I wasn't 100% clear. You know? Thank you guys for coming in and joining me. I appreciate it. I'm working on a hexagon cardigan. And right now I am working on connecting the top of the sleeve. I've had a busy day. I'm actually really proud of myself. I got up, I got busy, I got doing stuff and just kind of, I made a list um, so that on my weekdays I have purpose and direction because if you're not like employed and you're just kind of directionless, then you can easily waste a lot of really valuable time. So I made a list of um, things that I want to do in what order I want to do them each day, including um, working on my business, working on my blog, uh, creating content, whether that's here at home or out and about as mom's travel team, working on um, networking, and thank you for that information, Angelina, about the collections because I have been organizing my videos and making the collections in um, TikTok 
and that is going to be a way that um, even you um, and I could organize if we make tutorials like we can go and uh, favorite our own videos and organize those so I thought that was really cool because I think that there are other functions available but you have to have more um, followers like uh, you were saying uh, before uh, increasing and working towards 10k organically totally love that and then I think that opens up your options for playlists but um, like you were letting me know about giving yourself a shout out as far as letting people know, oh, go and check my favorites and my collections. And then that would be a way for them to uh, see specific content. I, I love it. I worked on mine the other night. Yeah, 10 is the goal. Actually, the sky's the limit, but I got gotcha. you. I know you know that because you do not put a limit on yourself, and I love that. So yeah, just working on networking, getting a following, um, getting more traffic to the website, getting sales ultimately, maybe working on producing some digital content, what that's going to be, I have no clue for myself. Sorry, I keep getting out of frame. You can blame it on my dog because she had to weasel her way in under my feet. So I'm literally on the edge of my chair leaning over into the table. I tell you, she's like the queen of opportunists because she sees me move one little fraction of a millimeter and she's on it. Oops, I skipped. Um, and she moves in. It's like, what are you doing? But, you know, it's like your kids, you got to live with them, can't live without them. So now I'm like leaning into the frame so you guys can see me. But today I'm working on a granny stitch hexagon cardigan. I had also heard of the campfire cardigan, so I might check that out, see what that's all about. I've literally only heard about it. I haven't even looked at any tutorials about it or anything, so I can't even say if it's a viable option for me. All right, so here we are connected, and I will go ahead and cut this off. Then that will be another end I can sew in. I'm getting better about leaving it longer so that I can actually have something to work with. So you see this is the sleeve. You see my hand in there. So then what I'm going to be working on is making the extension. And I think what I'll do is kind of do a little bit of a modification and um, taper the sleeve a bit. But I need to determine what length I need. So... Right now, let's see what we're at. So let's say it's going to be from, uh, probably would be at the edge of the neckline because this would not be right on the shoulder because there's going to be additional rounds to um, kind of contour the edge and then um, connect into the back. So we'll say this is kind of like right at the inside of the collarbone. So that's still going to be, well, no, not even the collarbone. Um, well, here's the armpit. So yeah, the collarbone actually. So maybe that's about 16 and a half inches. So. 
And then for an adult, let's see, from that same collarbone, it is about 23 inches to the wrist. So have to determine what size for a child. Get my needle here. And we'll go ahead and sew this end in. And I see another end, so we can take care of that as well. That way when the sweater is complete, we have one less task to accomplish. This color, uh, the variegated color, I think is wildflower. Let me see what it's called. I'm not a fan as the skein begins to be used up, the label starts to come off. This is called Garden Grows. Garden Grows. And that is the variegated. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'm working on this Granny Stitch Hexagon cardigan. The next project up after I sew in these ends will be um, crochet sleeves for a denim vest. We will start on that. get these ends woven in just so they have a finished look. Here we go. And then I'm sticking all my yarn ends in this little jar. I'm sure there will be a project for that at some point using all these yarn ends. Here we've got a couple more. And these are shorter, so they're going to be, you know what, I'm just going to pull that out. And I did crochet over that a bit, but it is nice to sew it in as well. So let's try to sew that in, even though it's a little bit short. I'll kind of go backwards with the needle. It won't hurt anything. had a nice sandwich for lunch, so I think those carbs are catching up with me. I feel a little sleepy. Okay, so I got that kind of sewn in there a bit. Let's trim that off. And here's another end we can sew in. And we'll probably end up doing this one kind of backwards as well. And we're coming up on an hour, so I'll probably take a break at the one hour mark. Get up, stretch a bit, refill my hydration. So this is just to weave the ends in. I mean, I think there's always a chance that somebody's going to see the end of the yarn, but as much as we can minimize that, the better it is. And then of course, reassuring the customer that the item is not going to unravel. That's the thing. All of my ends are definitely tied off. They are not going to unravel but you want to have that aesthetic where it's nice and finished. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe that's a sign that we're done with that one. Okay, we can trim that. And then, like I said, I leave these tails a little bit long, so that way it's easier to sew them in. Like, no matter how many years you've been crocheting, there's always opportunity to learn something new well with every craft i think sewing crochet knitting needlepoint let's get these sewn in here That. You're always discovering more ends to sew in. There's another one, the black one, the black thread there, back black yarn. Now let's get this one sewn in nice and neat. Okay, now let's just take a once over and check if there's any other yarn we see hanging out. We'll probably have another end inside. Oh shoot, I just dropped the needle. I find the needle. Oh, right there by your nose, little lady. Do you need a foot warmer? I huh? have a I have a dog that could be your foot. Warmer. All right, let's check this one. And it looks like they are all sewn in really nicely. So we will not need to work on that. Okay, so this one I'm going to set aside. Actually, I can use it as my base right here. It makes for an interesting background. And then let me grab the vest that I'll be working on.
Okay, so what I'm going to be working on now is um, crocheted sleeves for denim vest. And I am going to use the Mandala yarn. And this is Chimera. See the, oh no, that's Sasquatch. I'm looking for, oh yeah, it is two different colors, but that's okay. I know I got two of the Chimera, so I just need to find it. But I will be working on this vest. So let me just... Get the other chimera. Okay, so I have the two cakes of Chimera. So what I would need to do with these is force a color change with starting with the same color because I'm going to start at the portion that will hook on to the um, arm opening. So, but before I start that, I am going to go ahead and take a break. So. Thank you all. Um, I will probably be going over to Instagram. So if you would like to join me there, uh, go follow me there. And then I will be back live there in a bit, maybe about 15 minutes. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me.